Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about cows. So the first thing we need to do is buy somewhere to put them. So if you go into construction and here construction and animals on a computer you can also just hit shift P it'll take you right here and cows. So you have a pasture which will look like this. Uh, remember you do need to own the land to place the building. If you buy a pasture, you will also need to provide them water with a water tank. And you can see uh, the trough right there for water. If you buy a barn, however, any of the barns, the water is provided automatically, so you don't need to. And with cows, this largest one, cow barn with feeding robot, that's the one I have here. It'll have a feeding robot where you can put the hay, straw, silage and mineral feed right in the building and it'll sort of mix it itself and i have a video just a like a two or three minute video showing that process that i'll link in the description if you want to see it but it's really cool because you don't have to mess with the mixer uh, like i'll show later on so go ahead and plop it down and then you gotta buy your cows so you can go up to the barn and go into the animal dialogue box if you don't want to have a fee for buying and selling you can transport them to and from the animal dealer. Again, I have a separate video showing that process that I'll link below if you want to try that out. Now, with cows in this game, there are two types. These first two are dairy cows, and you can see in the description, this type is mainly used for dairy farming. So these two will actually produce milk. The other two, Angus and uh, I guess that's pronounced limousine, maybe? Uh, these are used for breeding. And these will basically act like pigs, where they won't produce milk, they just reproduce faster so you can sell uh, sell the cows themselves for money. So in this video, I'll be showing the dairy, since that's what we want to, since that's just different than the pigs. Uh, so go ahead and buy whichever ones you want. And then if we look at the menu here, I have my Holsteins. And you'll see productivity, milk, straw, all the all the stuff. So slurry is liquid manure, and that can be used as fertilizer. And that is made automatically when you feed them. So food will give you slurry, and you will find that on the other side of the barn. For example, on this barn, it is right here. And you'll take your slurry tank and just fill it up right on this icon. Um, Straw, uh, that is used for bedding. And to give them straw, you can use a forage wagon, or what I have here is just a mixer with straw only. And you just go in and give it to them like that. Again, this is not food that I'm giving them, that is just straw for bedding. And once you give them straw, then they'll start producing solid manure theor theoretically. They should be producing solid manure um, as I said in the pigs video, I think it's broken right now because I have tried everything and they are not giving me solid manure. So the game says to build a manure heap and I'll show you that here. It says a separate manure heap needs to be placed next to the barn via the build mode menu. So if you go to silos and manure heap here. And I've placed them by the barn, I have placed them by the barn, and I've given it days and days and days and still get nothing. So unlike past games, it's not just part of the barn itself. So I don't know if, 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 I'm, if I'm missing something, I'll update it in the description once I figure it out. But right now, I, I think it's just bugged. So that is straw and solid manure. And then again, solid manure can be used for fertilizer. Uh, with dairy cows, once you get their productivity up by feeding them, then they will produce milk. And um, I'll show you that in a little bit after we look at their food. And then of course their food. So to get 100% effectiveness, you have to mix, uh, use a total mixed ration. And I'll show that here in just a few seconds. If you don't wanna deal with that, then you can just give them hay and that will bring them up to 80%. Uh, and grass alone would just give them 40. So you can still get productivity without going all the way to total mixed ration. And you, again, you just take it to where I showed where the straw goes and just feed it to them. Now, for total mixed ration, to get to 100%, you will need hay, silage, straw, 
And you can see on the left on the mixing ratio, it says mineral feed, but I found that you don't actually need that. So if you are wanting mineral feed, or if you want to put it in your robot feeder like you need to do, you can go to pallets here, or oh, sorry, pallets here, and it's right here, mineral feed. But if you're just using this trailer, which I do want to show you in animals, all of these mixers um, will mix total, uh, mix total mixed ration. And there's the symbol for it. If you ever fail your ratios, you'll get a symbol that looks like this. That is forage. And that'll basically just act like hay. So you can still feed it to your cows and it'll just fill up the hay slot instead of the ration. So it's not like you waste, it's not a complete waste, um, but just be aware of that. So let's start throwing stuff in. So here's silage and I just bought these at the shop, but obviously you can do these on your own. And I will link below to my bale wrapping, my hay and my straw videos, because those are three entirely separate industries that um, are outside the scope of this video. So we'll just throw this stuff in. I've done this enough to know sort of the ratios. Basically you want as little straw as possible and then you want almost equal parts hay and silage. And I'll show you those ratio bars once we get back in our tractor. And you just throw them in. And when we look here on the left, you'll see it mixing and you can kind of see the white arrows are where you're aiming for and everything's green. And again, you'll notice I didn't give it any mineral feed. And yet in the bottom right, I still have the total mixed ration symbol. So we're, we're good to go. Um, you don't need it. So again, we'll just drive in the barn so I can show you the feed being process. And there you see, total mixed ration, and you just unload the food. If you have this barn with the robot feeder, um, even though it is a separate video, I'll just quickly go back here. For this, all you have to do is bring piles, not bales, but piles of hay, straw, silage, and then I do think you probably need to give this the mineral feed. And every hour on the hour, as long as you have the ingredients, the, ro the cover will close and the robot will just self mix everything. Um, so you can see it working there and you don't have to worry about ratios. It'll do it itself. It's really, really nice. And that should be food straw. And now let's look at milk. So once their productivity goes up and that's just by giving them food um, and straw for long enough, their productivity will go up. Over here on the left side of the barn, as long as you have dairy cows, they will, um, you will be able to load up your milk tank. And that is under animals as well. Here's water. And these two larger ones can do water and milk. There's the milk symbol there. And just like always, kind of with everything else, you just drive up to this icon and in the left you'll see the controls switch to start filling and there we have milk and then you decide what you want to do with it so if we go to prices you can sell it directly at Johnson's Farmers Market or you can give it to the bakery or dairy as part of the production chain and if you don't know what production chains are again it's a whole other industry I'll link to in the description so um, if you go to production and look at the bakery, it will take milk and milk is one of the many ingredients to produce cake. And then if we can find dairy, dairy there, and that will help, that'll be part of recipes to produce um, these three things, cheese, chocolate, and can't quite remember what that is, um, but we could always go to prices and figure it out, butter. And then those can also be used in other uh, production chain buildings or again you can just sell them so that is what you do with milk and you just take it to the buildings and unload it just overload it like you would um, kind of everything else so that is what you will do with milk and that should cover everything just checking my notes yep uh, that'll cover everything with cows so I know this is always my most controversial video because I, I sort of just link to a lot of different videos but that's what 
cows are. It's, it's a huge culmination of a lot of different industries coming together. So uh, you can kind of pick and choose what you need from, from that list of videos. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully you learned something. Like, subscribe, comment below if you have a question. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.